Hey everyone, Yo Cap Alex here. So, uh, my friend spoiled me on the first 18 seconds of the trailer. So I actually watched the first 18 seconds and I immediately closed it. And then when I went to look at the later VOD, Mr. Sakurai presents Byleth. So there's no face cam, not because I can't do face cam, I could do face cam, but because Byleth does not deserve face cam. Byleth, I don't even think Byleth deserves his own video. I'm only doing this because this is direct. Yeah, so the way they bamboozled us is crazy. Now, I'm not mad that you know, there's a Fire Emblem character. I'm just mad that it's Byleth specifically. Like any, like if you like if you were to look at like the Three Houses character, okay, you know what, let's use this. So pretend this is the Fire Emblem Three Houses box. Obviously there's male and female Byleth, and then there's the three leaders. I don't, I don't play the game, so I don't remember. Those three leaders, the ones in the box, are, don't use swords. Any one of those could have been easy candidates for a good Fire Emblem pick, because then we actually have a Fire Emblem character without a sword. But no, they give us another gender switching character, another swordsman, another blue haired freak, and another Fire Emblem character. And this is just ridiculous. And the whole direct is this. So actually no, let's just skip the first 10 minutes because I've already watched the first 10 minutes. That was when I wanted to kill myself. That scene right there, you know what? Let's just, you know what? Let's just, let's pinpoint exactly what second that was. The 15 second mark. So at, so using Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. and 15 seconds. Just, just, just keep that in mind. The time has finally come to unleash the- I'm turning up my freaking, you know what? Yeah, I'm watching this on iPad. That's how, that's how undeserving. Forbidden spell of Zaharat upon our enemies. <laughs> Boomer. <coughs> this is disgusting. This is just why. What were you thinking? Charging right into an enemy's trap. I don't get this. Really. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? Yes. <coughs> just die already. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... There is no other choice. You must join Smash. No! Uh -huh. Hold on, what's this chick's join name? Join Smash! You know what? You must join Sophus. Smash. Sothis. Uh -huh. Join Smash. Wait! This means that Sothis had the freaking Smash invitation. She could have been the one to be the new Smash rep. She could have been the new Smash rep. I am so mad at this. Give yourself, just do, fuck Byleth. Fuck Byleth, that's right, I'm swearing. Fuck Byleth. Why? Just use the pass on yourself. Sakurai gave it to you for a reason. You know, this reminds me of like the it's reminds me of like the the um uh of, like the post like somebody made of like oh Waluigi in Smash Ultimate Waluigi gets an invitation but Daisy's crying so he gives the invitation to Daisy so da that's why Daisy's in the game but not Waluigi. This is exactly what it is, but at least Daisy's a harmless Smash echo. Already. What in the world are you waiting for? Uh people to not be pissed off. That's disgusting. No. So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Yeah, you know what? I agree with him. That makes no sense. <clears throat> Why? Another... Look! Look at that! The red... Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm pausing. I'm, I'm, I'm skipping around and skipping this because... Because, uh... Byleth doesn't deserve to have the full un un uninterrupted shit. Alright? Her. She wields... Uh, an axe, I think. An, an axe. She could have. She doesn't use a sword. Idiot. She, he doesn't use. It. He uses a freaking bow. I mean, we haven't had bow. Look, even. 
Even Sakurai knows. Even Sakurai knows. Yeah, so definitely choosing, letting Nintendo choose the choices was a terrible idea. This is just, you get him, Cloud. Thank you. Cloud, you finally do something good. So you return, and sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? Yes! You, you wield the sword as well? What will you do? So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. What? All he did was gender swap. What? Why? How is this? Hmm. Really don't get it. The coup. Recruits by- oh my god, that is an awful joke. Again. Again, we didn't need this. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, we do get <clears throat> other weapon attacks, but... Why not just, you know, have the character? Just have the, the weapon, because the, the, if you don't know, these aren't their weapons. They took the weapons. <clears throat> they, they, they don't own them. They're borrowing it. How about just have the original owners? Okay. Why? This is, this is, this is. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's pretty not well done. Now it's. Show the world how crappy you are. I hope he's, I, I actually hope he's low tier so I can laugh at his recovery like I do with Kraman and Cineroar. That's like, that, that scream right there. Yeah, even Sakurai knows. He put this, he probably put these papers, like these, the posters last second. He probably, probably gonna reveal, I don't know, Dante. He's probably gonna reveal Papyrus. So it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This release is planned for January. So January, okay, at least that's kind of nice how early it's coming, but this was not no worth the wait. You could have released this like November. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things, so don't worry. First off, what is Fire Emblem? Who the hell was asking this question? No, I'm being serious. Who is asking this question? I'm waiting. It's really hard to Fire Emblem is a game that takes up space. It's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you, so please be careful. Emblem. Oh. The series' first entry launched in Japan. You're seriously explaining this? You could say it was a pioneer in the Everyone knows what this is. You might be wondering what makes it particularly tactical. It makes it tactical because it tactically gets too many characters in. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across oh the grid. Oh my god, and I'm just like, this is... When we talk about tactical games of that era, <sighs> there were lots of what ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in Roll. I mean, okay, now technically, if you were to add up the prices, if you were to buy the characters Plus, individually... Made it stand out from other Nintendo uh... You basically just be getting the same price as the game, but not getting Violet. That's pretty direct language, though. So, so we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. There is that. But, but really, if a character fell in battle, you lose that unit. They'd be gone, and you couldn't use them again. 
Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you, but a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. In the older games, your units would really be gone, never to be mentioned again. Scary. The game's stories are told like chronicles of war, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Why are you telling this to us? Several characters we also play in the Super Smash Bros. series, and 6 of the 7 can use a counter-attack. It's their down special. There's actually a reason for this. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem Fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based oh nature gosh. of the original game. We already First, know what the F of Fire... Wait! And you counter. Six of the eight! Then that means... Did it say six of seven or six of eight? Because if it says six of eight, then that means Violet and doesn't have a counter. Fire Three Houses is the 17th game in the series. Okay, that's, that's kind of nice. People who aren't Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are that many? Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Hmm. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. You're doing this! I'll give it a try. Why? Why are you doing this? You could be giving us information, like how the next wave is going to work. How are we going to perk? Like, how is that, how is distribution for that going to go? There you go, 17. That! That's why? That is why the hand symbol's there? Oh my gosh. So you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. We're counting in binary? I want to kill something. It'll probably be this fluffy animal in my backyard. I don't know what it is. It keeps growling at me, so I'll probably just go kill it. Add one and you get 17. Awesome, isn't it? You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. And if you use both hands, you can count all the way up to 1,023. Hmm. We didn't need to know that, but I guess not. Nice. You could always give it a go. I am bored! So let's try it right now! What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? Okay, that's slip that's like two percent more reasonable. The main character is called Bedetho, and the female version is called Bedis, but in English they share the same name, Violet. Violet becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Why? Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their school. Why are you summarizing the game that you didn't even make? After a certain incident, okay, actually, you know what? You know what? That, that, that was a joke. I can, I, I can understand if you're summarizing three houses. I don't understand if you're summarizing, why you're summarizing the series gen in general. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem 3. Like, I can kind of understand why you had to explain the hand gesture, but just... Oh, you got. Same thing before. Is that why you put him in the game? Just because you got a pre release on. You got a pre release on it. wait until launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it in time. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. I did you just thing. made so, so many people mad. Multiple endings. It was really hard to get a feel for it. And of course, there weren't any walkthroughs I could reference. The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is oh. very different. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. Wow. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope you'll understand. Okay, hey, whatever. Before my demonstration, I should point out that when I did the Terry Bogard showcase video, I mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. 
But this time, we have to account for the holidays and such. So we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Two months! It's actually... Two months! Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the finished version. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. You made this two months ago. You Here made this two months ago. This would have been... No. So, this is our new fighter, Violet. Badly. Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. No. Throws are not their strong point either. Their grab lacks range. But actually, wow. you could say that they're distance demon. The hero's relic they use changes depending so on you're the saying... input with the stick. Each of the heroes... So you're saying that he's best at range. You could have put the archer guy. You could have put the archer guy. Those relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They look like bones, and there's a reason for that. First, they let's talk bones. about the weapon Byleth uses for upward inputs, the Sword of the Creator. Yeah, even Marv. The Sword of the like, Creator no. here is Byleth's default weapon. They use it for flurry attacks and tilt attacks, such as down tilt attacks, where it takes the form of a whip. <coughs> yes, why? They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. For their up smash attack, they'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. Why? For their up air attack, they'll wave the whip sword overhead. Half of this, only the half of the for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. The, the up special move is really something. The sword extends like this, allowing you to do things like this. Yes! Tether recovery! Yes! Tether recovery! He's gonna be bad! And he has a little mobility, he's gonna have a garbage recovery! Yes! He won't be good at the game! Oh no, that was kind of far. You can do awful things like this. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. Okay. Exceed that percentage and you'll need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. I've already shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So, that's the up special. Now, for the sideways inputs. Yes, the up special is kind of garbage. Yes! Yes, I can laugh at- I can laugh at- Bile fails! Good! Alright, alright, he's redeemed. He's redeemed. As long as I can laugh at his recovery, I can- I'm fine with that. Like so. Marth's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? Yeah. If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long range. It'll connect even from here. Oh my gosh. I'm stealing that from Corrin. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. You already know that. Thanks. And if you've knocked an opponent down, the side attack won't hit no. unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. This is ridiculous. I just want to die. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Also, the stages walk off. The shaft part is weaker. So it's not suited to close combat. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch a I can't wait to go on Twitter after this. <coughs> As a rule, you want to hit with the How much time we have? Oh my god. We're not even... We're not even halfway through. Next, I just want to die from how garbage his character looks. Bylith will simply swing the lance like this, but again, and? it is excellent reach. And? For example, even when your opponent is and? at this distance, it'll still hit. Okay, but you have to be at a distance. Actually, you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little, like this. And? But as you'd expect, it can be easily shielded, so be careful. 
Yeah. You'll use it in midair and you'll carve up a large area. Okay, that actually is kind of cool. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. So this complements it well. Although you'll be vulnerable when you land. Now, for the downward inputs. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. That is really bad. Ooh, it's named really after a weapon that appears attack. in Ugaritic myth. First, the down air attack. It really is strong. I guess that's a... I don't... Try for spikes are better attack. when they're shorter. Next is the down smash attack. That's a fact. A heavy swing of the axe back and forth. As you can see, it has a great deal of launch power. Not really. That was nice. And for the down special, Byleth channels all their energy into a devastating strike. That looks good, but it's easily, but easily avoidable. Punch. But here's what makes it different. When readying the move, there's a super armor effect. Dodge out of the way, duh. Which allows you to withstand an attack. Or just do that, how can we get? Just so you know, if you execute a Falcon Punch at about the same time, it plays out like this. Trade? It's a I mean, it actually looks kind of cool. I just find that too kind of weird. That kind of you have the advantage. Like. Unless you get grabs. Told you! Another notable yeah, aspect is that it lets that you pass very punishable. Platforms. While you're charging up, you can breeze past platforms like this to reach a lower area. It won't let you jump, but you can I guess that's kind of nice, attack. but what if you're playing FD? Also, you can turn around during the move. Okay, that is kind of nice, takes a while. but so if just dodge away you during the move, you can quickly change and punish with like a with like a long range attack. Even though it can be hard to land a hit with this move, it can be really effective when used against a group of opponents. Not really. It looks very punishable. Even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponents on the ground nearby strong, will be but a little. punishable. Very punishable. It's as if the quaking of the ground launches them. <sighs> By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series, because you'll just get loads of counters. Except Robin. With that much power in a single attack. Except Robin. Counters can actually multiply the power of so I guess that is nice that this is the, this is another character that doesn't have a, that doesn't have a counter. Next, we have the neutral moves. The bow you use is called Fail Not, which shares its name with the bow. Fail Not. Fail Yes, please. It only appears in a few neutral moves. <laughs> You've got the neutral air attack. This attack is similar to a move of Pits and other fighters like it. it lets That's you spin a pit clone. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. I can kind of understand what they're doing. See, so trying to make a character unique from Fire Emblem. But that never works. Because... Noteworthy aspects to this bow. Wait. First. The biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. Oh, you can't release it, so therefore it's punishable again. You can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. Okay, never mind, never mind. You can also change direction while in the stance. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, You'll unleash a powerful arrow that looks uh, like a beam of light. Stealing from Link's final smash. You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You so charge I'm arresting Violet for thievery. Stealing fire. Link's final smash. But again, Pits Nair. Uh, DD's forward smash. For one, when you've uh, up the move to max, what other there's no way to cancel out of it. Belmont. Even with the shield button. In other words, uh, you're committed what else? to fire um, All the links. So you see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Finally, we're past. We're at the halfway point. Ah, I'm about to break my own. Once you've entered the stand, you won't be able to do anything. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters who have a. You know what? I'm getting bored. I'm gonna. I'm gonna you could always fast just aim at the fray, as it is, after all, a long-range move, letting you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So you need to think carefully when using this projectile weapon.
By this final smash is called Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. Why is that an awfully long name? Why? I mean, it looks kind of cool. You team up with the mysterious Sophus and launch an attack together. Now, let's talk about the color variations. It's set up so that the okay, female bilophiles here are male, while the even numbered ones are female. However, the third, fourth, and fifth colors are. You give them costumes instead of making them characters. Those of you who played their original Get... will, of course, oh understand what I'm referring to. Okay, yes. The female one looks the nice. This color is based on Sophus, who you just saw earlier. And yeah, that's a kind of a good color. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Didn't we see this variation in the final smash? Uh, well, they don't want to spoil it. <coughs> Garrick Mac Mon Monastery. For this one, we have to never play on the stage where you spend most of the game. Garrick Mock Monastery. This is how Garrick Mock Monastery is laid out in the original game. From Get out. We chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, Get out. bridge, and cathedral. All in Get stage. out. This is just a Castle Siege clone. It's this is a Castle Siege clone. Through different areas, such as these four. And then the FD, and then the FD and battle the versions the they are on the bridge. Areas. Wait, the bridge? Why the fucking? The first area is the marketplace. I think this, this is, is changing state. Just like it's a castle. The guests that appear here are students of the Blue Lion's house. Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. Again. Not Dimitri. Dimitri doesn't use a soul. Their names Wait, are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Since it's a kingdom, that means they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Dimitri is the future king. He had quite the difficult life and may or may not end up with just one eye. He's an unfortunate one, that one. Thanks. You just there are vendors on either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things, but... Oh, uh, yes. Here you can bring Nobody. Them. Communism. That is kind of cool, I guess. The stage will expand to the left and right. Um, I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. Craigslist! And in the back I'm room, you can see the gatekeeper. You often pass through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you end up talking to them a lot. I just... Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop... Why? You'll come crashing back down. You broke through the ceiling and slammed into the building. And the guests Black in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra. Edelgard doesn't. Edelgard uses an axe. Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire. Edelgard uses an axe. Military might. I'm just saying. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. Why? It's possible Why? to knock them down. However, Violet can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. Good. So, it makes the character you worse. Work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. And you can knock it down. Also, you can break this table. Like Why? so. Why? Just like the sign that reads Fooding Kaza in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Cool, but that's useless. That's literally just no hazard bruise of element. Takes 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's a very that is, again, a long... This is just a worse castle siege. It's similar to the bridge of Elden stage. The guests are from the Golden Deer. Claude, Hilda, and Lawrence. Claude uses a bow. Just saying, Claude uses a bow. Because it's an alliance of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. 
and Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. The naming process must be tough. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. As for the bridges design, anything. it's just it's a long just there. plain and simple. You can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. All three of these layouts, the only one different is the marketplace. The really shine. And the cathedral. I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. Yeah, this stage is pretty bad. The last area is the cathedral. Only with some platforms you can pass through. Cathedral. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Seda, Flame, and Rhea. Yeah, that's who where Seda appears to have an so, extremely so strong bond with his from. sister, Flame. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. I feel that Flame might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Being the last area, it this may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. This is, in terms of gameplay, it's It'll a very boring stage. It'll cycle location in about two and a half minutes. And it's one. No! Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. Even, That'll give us just suck it up and just never release another one ever again. Joker! And Hero! Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo! By now, I think you know what I'm doing. But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. But as expected, it's going to be a pretty tough battle. So also, the way they, they said ban Joker, Hero, Banjo, that was insanely crazy. Like, beyond, oh, massive that. cringe moments. And I was, of course. Violet is... Uh, I can't wait for Violet to fail. I'll use this chance to attack. Got it. <coughs> That's scary. He's invincible. <coughs> He's only winning because of items. Lots of explosives. Ouch. He's only winning, he's only winning because of items. Let's say it together. He's only winning because of Like items. this, like this, or like so. No anti huh? There. The soccer ball connected. Honestly, the, the, uh, the battlefield and the Mega Burns are so much better. Good. There's Mom. Wait, is that what I just say? Call Mom? Wait, that means canonically, Mother Brain is Sakurai's mother. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The lore. The lore. I'm speeding. I speed this up because, oh my gosh. I don't care about my list. I really don't. I don't want to see any more Fire Emblem characters. I, I want Fire Emblem to just never have another rep again. I don't want any more reps. Why? What are you charging up for? Yeah, they, the costumes there. I guess this is kind of cool to show spoiler costumes, I guess. That's something I can say a lot of games don't try to do. And I can understand why game, some games don't try to do that, obviously, but... Let's say it together. Sakurai only won because he turned on items. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. I forgot, can I? I really wish tag team was in, was in uh, online. Now, about the additional music. Can you at, can you at least put 50 songs so that we can have, the, each we can have 100 so we can go pack and get to four digits? There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection <coughs> this time has been made taking those existing <coughs> into consideration. 11 in total, okay. 11 songs are being added. Well, the two remixes... This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. Nope. We're also adding in a new spirit board. 
It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. So this is legend class. Ha, also, there's a new classic kind of mode route, a heroic legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series history. Uh. The final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand, but you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Now for the Mii Fighter costumes. Please take a look. Oh boy! Come on, just give me a surprise. Come on! You did such a good surprise with Van Terry. Come on, give me a surprise, come on. Oh. What? Oh, I thought that was Assassin's Creed. Wait. That's so, that looks so much like Assassin's Creed. I was supposed to be like, oh my gosh. What? You know what? I'm gonna turn on my face cam. This this is deserving of a face cam. There you go. That's more deserving than Byleth. Rabbits are officially better than Byleth. You know what? You did a good job. Oh, oh, who is it? That's a re oh, another resell from Smash 4. And this is gonna be another resell. Yep. I don't get it. I feel like Capcom is doing this. I'm convinced Cap this is it's Capcom is doing it. Oh! Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! I mean, I didn't really Annika, okay. Yeah. I didn't really, I, yeah, I didn't really see Cuphead as a fighter. I know a few people wanted him, but like, I didn't, I, in my opinion, I don't think there was enough source material to, to bring, to like, bring him into the game. I don't think there was enough source material. So that actually looks like a really good costume, although the head kind of freaks me out. The head's kind of freaky. I think the main, I think it freaks me out because like, you know, it, it's not supposed to look like, you know, he's, he's always, we've always seen him in 2D. I hope that since we're getting more fighters, we get more Mii fighters and get more crossover like that. And for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. Yeah. Can we get Cuphead for Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. Is it a remix? Or I I, I, I haven't really played Cuphead that much. So. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. Yeah. Why? If someone has created a me fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. Yeah. And now, on to the amiibo. Oh. Give us Joker already. For Dark Samus, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Rick, uh, Dark, Dark Samus, Samus is, Victor looks a little... Release on Friday, January 17th. Oh, they come out tomorrow. Oh, they come out. Yeah, they come out tomorrow. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is finally complete. That this is a cursed image. This is a cursed image. That is a cursed image. From more than seventy fighters, only five have been added. But I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. Tell us about the new characters. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. Except Bioma. As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters yes. down the line. I had thought that one or two might suffice, but, well, have a look. Wait! Yes! So how is it going to work? Tell us. What?! Ew, it's gonna be an uh, it's gonna be an even number! For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate.
Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will be available Volume for two. the day Chong, so please keep an eye out. So you and can now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. So I think it is the same price course, as like last normal. Time, the contents will remain unknown for now. And I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Contents. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. Ignore But I still hope you'll look forward to it. We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Oh, the main fighter bonus. It was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Link? It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter, the ancient sword uh, from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That looks good. I like... Okay, I don't like the helmet. How the helmet looks. It looks really weird, but... This isn't a bad costume. I just don't see myself using it. Oh, I actually I honestly think Rex is better. It would have been funnier if they, if they put Pyra. ...is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Oh! Oh! Seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or six to seven if you really want to get into the weeds. That's true. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super 20. Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Although, I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game. Some sort of celebration of gaming or something else. Of um, gaming! You hear that, Goku wanners? Do you hear that, Goku voters? ...deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. <laughs> or something else entirely. Also... I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. Except Bio. The first fighters pass just wrapped up. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. Which means no breaks for me. I plan to keep working hard, so I hope you continue to support us. I like he's... That's it. Thank you. But obviously this is unscripted. So I think he's happy with not taking breaks. That's actually very interesting. A very interesting way to leave off the direct. Yeah, but Bob's so garbage, so I'm never playing with him. Goodbye, everyone.